my name this video is about 2020 nhs cervical screening program at what age do we do screening according to program policy cervical screening starts at the age of 24 and half years it is done every 3 yearly until the age 50 5 yearsly after the age of 50 routine screening ends at the age of 60 after the age of 60 next routine test is done at the age of 65 years If the age of the patient is more than 65 years, HPV is positive and cytology normal, patient will remain in call until they have completed follow-up. Cervical screening starts from HPV testing. If HPV test is negative, we call the patient for routine recall. If HPV is positive cytology abnormal, we refer the patient for colposcopy. If cytology is negative, we rescreen the patient in 12 months time. So after 12 months if high risk HPV is negative we put the patient on routine recall on the other hand if high risk HPV is positive if cytology is abnormal we refer the patient for colposcopy but if cytology is negative we rescreen the patient in 12 months time again after 12 months if high risk HPV is negative we put the patient on routine recall but this time If high risk HPV is positive and cytology even negative, inadequate or abnormal, we put the patient on colposcopy referral. So what we learn is that if high risk HPV is positive and cytology is normal, two surveillance tests must be done at the 12 months interval time. Now on colposcopy examination, the sample may be inadequate or adequate. If the sample is inadequate. we will check the index high risk hpv if that is positive and cytology low grade we will repeat colposcopy in 12 months time and if that is inadequate we consider large loop exchange of the transformation zone after asking about the patient's choice on the other hand if index high risk hpv is positive cytology high grade or borderline in the cervical we straight away refer the patient for large loop exchange of the transformation zone if we get adequate sample on colposcopy and we have no sin on biopsy no biopsy or no colposcopic impression of the sin then we will check the index high risk hpv if that is positive and cytology low grade we will recall the patient in 36 months time if index high risk hpv is positive cytology high grade or borderline into cervical we will dis do discussion at mdt within the 2 months time but in case of the adequate sample if we find the abnormal biopsy sin one positive or colposcopic impression of the sin even with the no biopsy then we manage according to abnormal colposcopic examination which we will discuss later on so here we have abnormal colposcopy examination algorithm so what sort of abnormalities do we expect first of all sin one or biopsy or colposcopic impression what we will do we will recall the patient in 12 months time After 12 months time if high risk HPV is negative we will recall the patient in 36 months time if high risk HPV is positive we will check the cytology if cytology is abnormal we will refer the patient for colposcopy but if cytology is negative we will recall the patient in 12 months time and then we will check the high risk human papilloma virus if that is negative we will recall the patient in 36 months time but if that is positive we will check the cytology If cytology is negative, recall in 36 months. If cytology is abnormal, refer to the colposcopy. Another type of abnormality is that uh, sin two or more. In that case, we will provide treatment and recall the patient in six months time. Then we will check the high risk human papilloma virus. If that is negative, we will recall the patient in 36 months time. If high risk human papilloma virus is positive, cytology negative, inadequate or abnormal, we will refer the patient to colposcopy. The third possibility is that of the cervical glandular intraepithelial neoplasia in that case also we will provide treatment and recall the patient in 6 months time to check the high risk human papilloma virus if that is found to be negative we will recall the patient in 12 months time to check the high risk human papilloma virus again if that is negative we will recall the patient in 36 months time Now coming back to the point of recall in 6 months after treatment if high risk human papilloma virus is found to be positive we will check the cytology if cytology is negative or inadequate we will refer to colposcopy if normal colposcopy we will recall the patient in 12 months time to check high risk human papilloma virus if that is negative recall in 36 months but if high risk human papilloma virus is found to be positive we will check cytology 
if cytology is negative or inadequate refer to colposcopy if normal colposcopy recall in 12 month if cytology is abnormal refer to colposcopy if normal colposcopy and or no re-exceed complete 10 years follow-up coming back to that six months recall after treatment if high risk hpv is positive and cytology is abnormal refer to the colposcopy if normal colposcopy and or no re-exceed complete 10 years follow-up if hpv is unavailable plus cytology inadequate we repeat the sample after three months if we find inadequate cytology at 24 months, we refer the patient for colposcopy. Now, within how much time should colposcopy be done? In case of invasion, high-grade dyscariosis, which can be moderate and severe, glandular neoplasia, borderline changes in endocervical cells, in those cases, the patient should be referred on two weeks wait pathway. But those not found to have cancer on colposcopy examination at first visit refer to 18 weeks wait pathway. If HPV testing is negative at 12 months time, put the patient on routine recall. Now, how to do follow-up in, uh, follow in cases of the treated sin and early stage cancer? There is two to five time increased risk of the CA cervix, more than 50% loss to follow-up. If we have seen two or three, the test of the cure is done in the six months time. If HPV is negative, we recall in three years regardless of the age. If okay, then age-related routine follow-up. If HPV is positive, we do colposcopy. If HPV not adequate, we repeat testing in three months time. If we have early cancer, 1A1, HPV is done in the six months and 12 months time and yearly for nine years and we put the patient on routine recall. If we have an A2 or 1B1, the individualized approach is followed. Now, when should the histological diagnosis be done? All the individual must have an established histological diagnosis within three months of having ablative treatment. Now, how to do follow-up of incompletely excised cervical glandular intraepithelial neoplasia and the patient denies free excision. We do colposcopy and HPV at 6 months time. If negative, repeat at 12 months, mean 12 months after colposcopy. If negative, annual follow-up for 9 years. How to do follow-up after simple hysterectomy? If patient is on routine recall plus no sin in hysterectomy specimen, no wall sample is taken. If patient undergoes subtotal hysterectomy, that patient remains in NHS cervical screening program. If patient undergoes a radical tracheolectomy, that patient remains under the care of treating gynecologist or oncologist. If we have hysterectomy done and we have incompletely excised SIN, in those cases, HPV screening follow-up is done. In case of the SIN 1, it is done after 6 months, 12 months and 24 months time. In case of the SIN 2 or 3, it is done after 6 months, 12 months and annually for the 9 years. Follow-up is done till 65 years or 10 years, whichever is later. If patient undergoes hysterectomy and we have incompletely, we have completely excised sin, wall sample is taken after six months. If HPV is negative, we discharge the patient. If HPV is positive, cytology negative, we do colposcopy. And if that is normal, we discharge the patient. Now, how to do colposcopy evaluation of the pregnant individual? If SIN1 or less is suspected, their assessment may be delayed until 3 months after delivery. If SIN2 or 3 is suspected, repeat colposcopy at the end of the second trimester. If pregnancy has already advanced beyond that point, repeat 3 months after delivery. If invasive disease is suspected clinically or colposcopically, a biopsy adequate to make the diagnosis is essential. Excisional treatments are safe in pregnancy in the first and second trimester. Now we will talk about the depth of XCN in cervical intraepithelial neoplasia. The goal of XCN is to remove all the abnormal epithelium. When we have type 1 transformation zone, remove tissue to a depth of more than 7 mm to 10 mm in the reproductive age group. In case of type 2 transformation zone, remove the tissue to a depth of 10 to 15 mm in more than 95% of the cases. In case of the type 3 transformation zone, remove tissue to a depth of 10, 15 to 25 mm in more than 95% of the cases. How to do follow-up after hysterectomy? Incompletely excised sin or uncertain margin or hysterectomy follow-up as cervix in situ. 
in case of SIN1, wild cytology is taken in 6, 12 and 24 months time. In case of the SIN2 and 3, wild cytology is done in 6 and 12 months and then 9 annual wild cytology samples. And these are done till 65 years or 10 years of the surgery, whichever is later. Before hysterectomy, patient on routine recall, no need to repeat. Patient not on routine recall, take sample. If we have abnormal screening result or symptoms of cervical cancer, we do colposcopy. Now let us talk about Cervarex. It is a bivalent human papilloma virus 16 and 18 vaccine and that has been shown to be highly effective in preventing high-grade sin and has been adopted for the use in UK vaccination program. Next is Gardasil, which is a second quadrivalent vaccine and it covers human papilloma virus 6 and 11. It also covers 16 and 18 like in case of Cervarex. It is equally effective in preventing the development of high-grade sin as well as reducing the incidence of genital warts. Now, let us talk a little bit about prophylactic HPV vaccines. The bivalent vaccines like Cervarex target HPV 16 and 18. The quadrivalent vaccines like Gardasil uh, target HPV 6, 11, 16 and 18. We have nonavalent vaccines like Gardasil 9 as well, which target HPV 6, 11, 16, 18, 31, 33, 45, 52, and 58. These vaccines are suggested for the girls and boys in the age group of 9 to 14 years. In fact, two doses are given and the schedule is that 0.5 ml is given in the zero months time. And then after five months and after 13 months, another dose is given. So basically, three doses are given in total. So thank you so much. That was all about Cervical Screening NHS program. Subscribe on Obstetrics and Gynae. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.